Hello, I'm Alistair Stevenson, and today I'm going to take a look at the Windows Phone 8 OS and some a few nifty tricks you can do with it on the Nokia Lumia 920. Now, Windows Phone 8 is still a bit of a fringe operating system, so you'd be forgiven for not knowing all the ins and outs of it, but hopefully these five little tips will prove useful. Now first off, we're going to show you how to take a screenshot on the phone. This is pretty easy, you just have to touch the power button and the start button at the same time. It's be stored in the screenshot section when you put it connected to the computer, and on top of that, it can also be accessed on the photo app, which can be just found as one of the dynamic tiles on the UI. Now, another one, which is actually multitasking, refers to multitasking, is the ability to see and manage which apps are open. Now, again, this is fairly easy to do, but not altogether clear unless you know how to do it. All you have to do is hold on, down on the back button for a couple of seconds. Then, as you can see, you get a nice little interface showing you what's open at the moment. You can get rid of anything you want just by clicking on it. Now, another cool feature, which most people don't realize, is, which is inbuilt into the Windows Phone 8 search option, is the ability to track and to tell you what songs you're listening to at any one time. So if you found yourself in a bar or any other environment, you can actually track which song is there. Now, this is done pretty easily by clicking on the search button, which can be found just here, and then clicking on the music icon, and it'll automatically start looking for whichever song is playing on the Windows Phone marketplace. Now, another cool feature which most people don't realize is that it does, the Windows Phone 8 does have voice recognition capabilities. Now these aren't on the level of Siri, but they're still pretty nice and can be accessed, again, just by holding down on the start button. Now, using the, using the voice features, you can do everything from open apps to go and ask for local directions, like which restaurants nearby, things like that. Oh. Searching for start you. you. As you can see there, there are also a few Easter eggs tied into the service, many of which we haven't actually discovered yet. Now, the next tip we're going to give you is a little bit nastier and refers to a bug we've seen in a few Windows Phone devices, especially the Lumia 920, which at points can brick and refuse to charge inexplicably. We haven't really found the root cause of this issue. When this happens, though, don't fear, you can get your phone working again, taking advantage of the hard and soft reset options on the phone. Now we're not going to do this on the phone because this is actually our personal phone and has all our data on it and unfortunately both options will erase anything, any files stored on the phone. The first soft reset, op reset option can be done by holding down on the power plus the volume down button for a few seconds. Now you'll know when this is activated when you feel a one vibration at which point take, both, take your thumbs off both fingers, both buttons and leave it. If it's worked you should th feel three more vibrations and the phone should restart. Now, if this doesn't work, you can hard reset it, which erases everything and brings it right back to factory settings. This is a little bit more complex, but is basically the same trick. Here, you have to hold the camera, volume down, and power buttons, so all three along here. Now, you'll feel it by phone vibrate once, at which point you have to take your hand off the power key and continue holding the camera and volume down keys for a few more seconds, at which point again, you'll feel a few more vibrations and the phone will restart. Though be warned, this is the last measure you want to take because it will remove everything from your phone. Right, well I hope you found those tips useful. If you have any others you'd like to add, put them in the discussion thread below. I'm Alistair Stevenson, thanks for watching.